Good afternoon. I would like to welcome you to the fourth grade DeShazo patriotic program of This Is America. As these amazing students make, make their way to the stage, I just ask that you encourage them, that you smile at them, that um, you clap for them. They've worked so hard and they've done an amazing job. I also want to ask you that you turn your cell phones on silent. And if you have, if you're gonna use your camera, please make sure that the flash is off so that it doesn't distract the students while they're singing. And again, thank you so much for coming and supporting the fourth grade students.
This is America and we are Americans. We are young, we are old, we are wealthy, are we not? We live in cities, we live in towns. We were born here. We came here. We had dark skin, we had light skin. We are teachers and students, soldiers and citizens, friends, neighbors, and family. The Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution of the United States is that we are all equal and we are all free. They say that we may have our own opinions and speak them freely. They say we may worship as we wish. They say we may protect and defend ourselves. They say no matter what our ethnic origins, we are all equal and we are all free. This is America and we are Americans. You know, I was just thinking America really is a unique country. A democracy, a free country, a democracy, a noted part, a free country. Well, yeah, but also because there are so many cool things that make us who we are. No kidding, like fireworks on a 4th of July or turkey on Thanksgiving. How about our TVs and movies and radios? And our music, our video games, our pizza, and let's not forget our apple pie. Our blue jeans, malls, football, fast food, to freeways. Broadway, the Grand Canyon, parades, amusement parks, public television. Hollywood, the Smithsonian, the Rock, the Rockies, the Liberty Bell, Mount Rushmore. Basketball, marching bands, teddy bears, cowboys, New York City. Wow, we could go on and on, couldn't we? Yeah, America has got to be this greatest place in the whole world. I sure do love my country.
During the War of 1812, Francis, Francis Scott Key was in the boat in Biltmore Harbor. From there, he witnessed the bombing of Fort McHenry by the British Army. All through the night, he caught glimpses of the American flag through the smoke and flashes of light from the bombing. In the morning, he was so thrilled that he that he could <laughs> he could still see the flag and write a poem about it. The poem was later set to another tune of a different song and eventually became America's national anthem, Star Spangled Banner. Please stand and join us for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Please join us up to show respect to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us as we honor the Texas flag. You will never know how much it has cost my generation to preserve your freedom. I hope you would make good use of it. John Quincy Adams. I know not what others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Pa Patrick Henry. There is nothing so likely to be well prepared to meet an enemy. George Washington. Those who expect to reap the blessing of freedom must undergo the fatigues of supporting you. Thomas Paine. It is my duty to my country to love it to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. William Tyler Page. Government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. George Washington. Abraham Lincoln. We Americans of today are going through a supreme test. This is a test of our courage, of our resolve, our wisdom, our state of democracy, Franklin D. Roosevelt. In democracy, the individual enjoys not only the ultimate power, but the ultimate responsibility. Norman Cousins. We would rather die on our feet than live on our knees. Franklin D. Roosevelt. The cause of the support was just as glorious and was and when, when, when uh, men's fight for freedom, they must be victorious. Joseph Hopkinson. Freedom is still expensive. It still costs money, it still costs blood, it still costs for courage and endurance, not only in soldiers, but in every man and woman who is free and who is determined to remain free. Harry S. Truman. Freedom is never voluntary. It must be given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Martin Luther King, Jr. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. John F. Kennedy. <coughs> Let us have faith that Mike makes right, and in that faith, let us to the end dare to do our duty as we understand it. Abraham Lincoln. At this time, I would like to ask any members of our audience who are servicemen or women to please stand so that we can acknowledge you for all of your sacrifices to defend our country 
and to give us the freedoms that we have. We're so blessed and we're so grateful for what you do. So if there's any veterans or any current servicemen, please stand so that we can applaud you.
<coughs> America is a powerful nation. Even though America has only been a country since 1776, it has been one of it has been one of the greatest countries to ever exist. It has it has become a major world power. The power American the power of America comes from its people. The rights of the American people are guaranteed by the Bill of Rights and the Constitution of the United States. In exchange for our rights, we Americans have responsibilities to our country. We act by the rules or laws of our country. We vote to choose our leader. We pay taxes to support our government and the work that it does. Some of Americans serve in the Army, Navy, or Air Force to help protect our country. It doesn't matter how different we are, we are united by our country and our freedom. We are united when we work to solve common problems. We are united when we strive to reach our common goals. We are united when we fight common enemies. We are united when we defend our American way of life. We are strong when we're united. When it comes to our freedom, we are always united. That's what we're called the United States of America. I don't know what it feels like to fight in the Civil War. I don't know what it's like to be whipped and have my family taken from me. I don't know how it feels to be put in prison for speaking my mind. I don't know how it feels to have foreign soldiers come into my home and take it from me. I don't know fear and oppression of my own government. I don't know having to run away to be free. But I'll tell you what I do know. I know that I am blessed by the light of freedom. I know that I'm extremely lucky to be an American living in this time and in this place. 
I know that I have unlimited opportunities. I know that I can dare to dream, and I know that my dreams can be realized. I know that I'm allowed to have my own opinions without fear. I know that my voice is allowed to be heard. I am free to be wealthy. I am free to have friends. I am free to have a home. I am free to have as much education as I want. I am free to pray and to choose. I am free to lead by example. Freedom shines on every American. That's what I know. I have always been free. And as long as I'm an American, I will always be free.
fabulous. So please give Mrs. White and the fourth graders one more big round of applause. It just makes me feel good to know that this is our future for our country and how proud I am of all of them and all the dreams that they do have for all of us. It's going to be fantastic. Well, we're